Hello everyone, welcome to Carroll Road. I'm not going to do a full on video verdict, but uh, I thought I'd do some sort of video. After this one, when Norwich have won, 1-0 against Ipswich Town. Ipswich were really disappointing, <laughs> as I said to, uh, to Alex, who works at the EADT, on the way down. Um, if I was judging Ipswich on the two times I've seen them live this season, I'd probably peg them about 11th in the championship. I'm sure they've been much better in so many other games. And in fact, from watching them on the telly, they clearly have. But yes, they're going to need to be a little bit careful that they don't get psychologically sucked into a bit of an issue because they may well be back here in the playoffs. Admittedly, the first leg would be at Cowra Road, but that's not going to be an ideal situation if they've just uh, come out of the title race picture. Loads of football still to play though, if which more than capable of still going up automatically. Norwich could fall out of the top six. They really shouldn't at this point, but they definitely could. Really interesting from Norwich boss David Wagner that he was quite happy to say that it is now a psychological issue for Ipswich. <laughs> it's just such a such a little stirrer. As for Norwich, they are in a brilliant position. They uh, they work hard. They look good. The atmosphere in this place is as good as I can remember for a very, very long time. It was better in here than all of last season. Anything I've seen this season. Clearly the season before that, they were in the Premier League, so it wasn't very good then. And the season before that, they went up with no fans. So there's an argument that is the best atmosphere there's been in here since Norwich beat Blackburn and went up in 2019. <laughs> That's a genuine argument. It reminded me a lot. It reminded me a lot of that. It was brilliant. And um, for anyone from uh, Norfolk, this is the best place to be in the world when it's like that. I thought Borja Sainz was... was was fantastic in terms of his work ethic ethic and maturity josh Sargent, i think you, you know norwich re I, I wasn't convinced necessarily at the time but i think it's quite clear since he's come back that he has been a massive miss while he was injured over the course of this season and if he'd been fit norwich would, would probably already be secure in the playoffs i'd still say he's maybe a yard of pace short of being a real elite striker because you know there were a few times there where he was through and he just didn't have the extra yard to get himself clear but that's you know by the by he's a clear a, a great striker and a great part of this this team that's going so well it's going to be fascinating to see how this plays out for both of these teams from here on in because the championship is playing out its saturday fixtures as normal and the last time i looked Leeds were losing so it's highly possible that Ipswich won't have actually lost much ground they may even still be top by the end of today uh, and you know maybe before i've actually published this video <laughs> So I think there's so much for both themes to go and, uh, and um, achieve and play for this season.